Hallelujah. So it would remove the base of what they already ate and they will start having a new appetite. That he would eat more and more and more. In short, he or Calamus is a representation or is a picture of hunger. Everyone who would desire wants to walk in God's anointing. Listen to this. You got to be hungry and thirsty of the things of God. That you cannot depend on what you learned last year or what you know last month. Because the picture of this king, sweet king, and calamus is that you already ate. And when this ingredient got into you, everything that you ate yesterday or even an hour ago will be erased in your taste. And that will give you a new appetite. That when they serve you another set of food, you're gonna start enjoying the food once again. Hallelujah. The king, the calamus. The appetite that you will become hungry and thirsty for the things of God. That you want the move of God. You want signs, wonders, and miracles because you want what God can give. My space and food. And you don't care how many, how much food in you, in front of you, because you are full, full of appetite. That every day you are craving, craving for more than sin. <laughs> for more vegetables, salad, for more fruits that you may enjoy. For hungry for the things of God and for the move of the Holy Spirit. Oh, move of the Holy Spirit! I'm so hungry for the things of God. Amen. That's why every day I want to discover something. If you're going to walk in the anointing, you better develop your hunger for the world yes. on a daily basis. Yeah. And the moment you see for the hunger of the things of God, listen to me, and the things of the Spirit, you have the goal, the sweet king, calamus ingredient for the anointing to blow in your life. You just stop for God's anointing to move in your life. Dangerous. Dangerous spirit in the life of many of us. You can go out or depend on what you read 
many years ago, many months ago. You got to have a revelation every day. Jesus says, those who are hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. Those who are hungry, sweet king, is the picture of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That you want more and more and more of the presence of the Holy Spirit in every services in your own life. Amen. In whatever you do. You are always desiring and asking for the move of the Holy Spirit. For the presence of the Holy Spirit. Is the sweet rema revelation of the word of God in our lives. Sweet king is an addiction to his food. Listen to this. Do you know that you and me are addicted to the word? I mean to the food and water? Let me say it again. Do you know that you and me, we are all addicted. That's why you are addict. You are addict to food and to the water. Why? Because nobody has to demand you to eat. Your body will tell you. Eat. Nobody will remind you it's time to drink water. Your own body will tell you. Yes. Listen, listen, listen. The Bible is telling us you want to walk in God's anointing? You want the Holy Spirit to manifest in your life? Then don't wait for somebody to remind you. Your spirit should be the one reminding you it's time to go to church. Amen. It's time to read or read the word. It's time to pray. It's time to pray in the spirit. You might say, Pastor Ben, how come the Bible says pray without ceasing? You know what that means? Pray without ceasing. That doesn't mean you always come to church and pray. pray. No. It's like the way you talk to your wife. Hallelujah. Talk to your children. Talk to your teeth, to your children. Talk to your wife without ceasing. What that means? Don't let one day not having a communication with your wife. Amen. 